Iya. Okay. So we have Miss Susanna Bates. This is case notes, Mr. Benjamin, and the candidate is Neha Bono from Hyderabad. Okay. Miss Susanna Bates, senior nurse, Abrina Nursing Home, then 19 to 21 Victoria Street, then Ashfield. Then New South Wales 2131. Okay, so he requires continued care or ongoing care at the nursing home. So she is discharged to the nursing home. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So, fine. Miss Susanna Bates, senior nurse. Abrina Nursing Home, 19-21 Victoria Street, New South Wales. Ashfield first. Ashfield will come first. Okay, so this will come first. Ashfield comes first. A-S-H-F-I-E, and the Ashfield comes first. Ashfield comes first. Next is New South Wales. New South NSW means New South Wales. It is 2131. That's it. You have to write this like this order. Okay, next one, 9th September 2009. Regarding Mr. Benjamin, age 63. But why don't you leave some space after comma? Uh, after comma, leave some space. Dear Miss Bates. Dear Miss Bates, fine, Miss Bates, okay. I am writing to update the current health status of. I am writing to update. That's naturally updating only, na? because they already know. So you're already updating. Why should you say I'm writing to update? Just update. Uh, instead of uh, uh, telling about, uh, what is that? Instead of direct singing a song, I am going to sing a song. Why introduction? Directly sing a song. Na? Why are you giving about information? Right. So just straight away say, Mr. Benjamin, what happening? You just update the information. Okay. I am writing. Why? This is redundant. I am writing is redundant. Okay. It's correct only. No doubt regarding it. It's correct. Sentence is correct. But quality is very low. I am writing to update. Yeah, you have to update. Just update. No, why are you giving information that you are updating? Okay. So the current health status. Yeah. Because they already know old, old health status. You are writing updating. The, that's it. That's not necessary. All these things. First line is redundant. It's unnecessary. Okay. Outdated information don't give. Updated information give. That's all. That is what is very important. That is what is very important. Yeah, known case. That's why known case. Okay, known case. So no need to write all these things. Just give the updated information, leaving the information all they know. That is called updating. Okay. Uh, Mr. Benjamin, who is recuperating? Not is recuperating. Who has been recuperating? Yes, who has been recuperating? From, no from, not from, after. It should be after, not from. Okay. Who has been? Who has been recuperating? Here it is after. After the surgery. Okay. After total hip replacement surgery. Uh, Mr. Benjamin, who has been recuperating after total replacement surgery, requires finished direct direct requires your Q is again a problem. I told you, right Q properly. Requires ongoing care and further assistance at your facility. Uh, not at your facility. Not here. Don't write here. Not assistance at your facility, but after discharging to your facility. Okay. Just check it out there. So, 
So he has been for two years before coming to care well, two months ago. So you are writing to this one, Abrina Nursing Home. He is in Abrina Nursing Home, right? So there, you are writing here, Abrina Nursing Home. Lives in Abrina Nursing Home, Victoria. So, and you are writing to who? Abrina Nursing Home. Abrina Nursing Home. So, that's it. Huh? So, discharge back to your home. There, back, back to your facility. Not just uh, assistance at your facility, but assistance he requires after discharging back to your facility. There you will say it is better. After being discharged today. That means where is he discharged, we don't know. Assistance at your facility, but where is he discharged? There you have to write it is better. Na? Writing there is more relevant. Okay. So this at your facility, that means assistance at your facility, but discharge will where? Okay. Uh, ongoing care and further assistance after the following the discharge back. We can say following the discharge back to your facility. Following, following the discharge, following the discharge, following the discharge back to your facility today. That means everything there only, discharge there, service there, everything there. So that is better. Mr. Benjamin, who has been recuperating after, uh, after total hip replacement surgery, requires ongoing care and further uh, assistance following the discharge back to your facility. Like that, you write better. Post-operatively, no need hyphen. No need hyphen. Why are you writing hyphen? It is there in the case notes, maybe. But officially, post-operative. Uh, post-operative, it is like this. I guess not only it is wrong. So what can you do? So post-operatively, check Cambridge Dictionary, post-operative, that is the spelling. So you have to write like this only. Okay, case notes, anybody can write anything, but official form is this one, post-operatively. So post-operatively is this spelling, without a hyphen. Good progress has been observed. However, appear who appear disoriented, there is no meaning in this. Disorientation has been noticed. Disorientation has been noticed, you can say like that. Post-operative disorientation possibly due to. Post-operative disorientation possibly due to. You can say. However, disorientation has been. Disorientation. Possibly due to anesthetic effects. Has been noticed. Post-disorientation. Okay. Disorientation. Okay, disorientation, however, disorientation possibly due to anesthetic effects has been noticed. Has been noticed. Has been noticed. Has been noticed. Been noticed. Effects, anesthetic effects has been noticed as well as don't write as well as like this one. This is not fine. Yeah. There is no connection with that one and this one. How can you write as well as? Hemoglobin was dropped. Who dropped it? Hemoglobin dropped on itself. Nobody dropped it. Okay. Was dropped means by someone. It's passive voice. By some Hemoglobin dropped. For which? Hemoglobin dropped. Okay for which three units of packed red blood cells have been transfused, okay? Um, have been, had been transfused, had been transfused, okay? Um, 
you will be able to drop. Why are you writing HB? Huh? Why are you, this is not a case notes, no? In the case notes, they will tell you what I told you many times. Do not use note form. Short forms, don't use. Do not use note form. Avoid short forms as far as possible. Notes, you can write any short forms, whatever. But here, try to write full form as far as possible. Okay. So, hemoglobin dropped. Uh, for which? Hemoglobin dropped. Consequently, you can say for which? For which doesn't suit here. Okay. You can say therefore or consequently. Consequently, or therefore, okay, three units of packed red blood cells were transfused, were transfused better. In addition, assistance provided with regular dressing. Assistance provided. Assistance was provided by someone. Here you have the right words. Assistance was provided. Okay. For, for, um, performing activities of daily living. Such as regular dressing, stretch. Okay. Assistance was provided with regular dressing. Stretching is a mobilization with video buffer. What is this? What is this? What is this and what is this? Assistance was provided with regard to regular dressing. Okay, that's finished. Huh? Okay, there is the matter. Stretching exercises and mobilization with video buffer. Assistance was provided for that one. Stretching exercises were recommended. Regular dressing, daily dressing changes have been provided. Uh, regular daily dressing changes have been provided. So this is post operative. So you can use present perfect tense. So Regular daily dressing changes have been provided. We can say like uh, three units of regular, mm, then blood, uh, the three units of packed blood cells. Okay. Hemoglobin drop post operatively transfused. Um, have been transfused, you can say. Okay. Post operatively good condition. So it's present perfect, you can say. Okay. So uh, post op, okay. Three units, three units of packed. Red blood cells have been transfused, transfused since the hemoglobin levels dropped. So that's it.
Okay. Yeah. Then stretching exercises have been recommended. Stretching exercises have been recommended. Stretching. Stretch. Stretching exercises have been recommended. Stretching exercises have been recommended. Okay, then next one is mobilization. Uh, Willy Walker. Walks with aid in the beginning, but now walks perfectly with Wally. Willy Walker. Mobilization has been possible with the support of a really walker. Okay, really walker hyphenated. Really walker mobilization has been possible with the support of a really walker. Okay. Mr. Benjamin was admitted to hospital on 5 September 2009, underwent total. What you are doing here? Post operatively over, and now we are talking about this was admitted. Why this like? Hmm? First, which is right to be written? We should have gone earlier. No? We should have gone earlier. This first admission to hospital should have gone earlier. Upon admission, first paragraph, post operatively, next paragraph. Upon discharge, third paragraph, three paragraphs. Rewrite this one. You have to rewrite this one. Anyhow, I was going to tell you before only you asked, wise of you. It was really wise of you because even before I asked, you said, first one you have to write. Uh, upon admission. Second one you have to write post operative. Post operatively. Okay. Post operatively or during hospitalization, you have to write. Then third one is the discharge plan upon discharge. Following the discharge or uh, discharge plan, you can say post operative you see i also make mistakes it's not like that i don't miss. say ve is missing post operatively okay third one is following the discharge uh, after discharge okay upon discharge come up like this one whatever you want to write different styles are there no need like this one Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this is the style how you are Mr. Benjamin was admitted last on 5th September 2000. Just putting the paragraphs up and down. That's all. That paragraph should come down. This paragraph should go up. Discharge plan is fine. Okay. This is fine. That one which you have written here, this should have post operatively should have gone into the next paragraph and this admitted should have gone up. Only mistake. Nothing is problem. This paragraph lifted and put there, that paragraph, no need to rewrite also actually. But if you write it, it is good for you so that you can recover. Just this paragraph go up, that paragraph come down. Um, underwent total hip replacement surgery. Correct. On 5th September, on 5th September 2009, Mr. Benjamin was admitted to hospital. Um, okay. Then you can say, following which uh, a hip replacement surgery was performed. He has been commenced on aspirin. He has been commenced on avoid. He has been. He, he, he removed. Aspirin was commenced and panad aspirin 100 mg and panadin for six tablets for pain relief for pain or for pain relief you are giving them for pain 
want him to get pain or pain relief. Otherwise, remove for pain na, or put pain relief. Huh? If you take tablets, you'll get pain or you'll get pain relief. Huh? So that is what you have to be very careful. Uh, aspirin 100 mg and Panadine 40. Panadine 40 capital letters. P capital letter 40, F capital letters. Okay. Brand name. Panadine 40. Brand name, capital letter, not small letter. Six tablets for pain relief. Uh, work commenced, past tense. Past tense. Okay. Uh, during hospitalization or post operatively, it will be present continuous tense. Okay. Or present perfect tense. But before that one, admission, that is past tense. And upon discharge, it will be future tense. So, first one, past tense. First paragraph past tense, second paragraph present tense, third paragraph future tense. That's so simple. Upon admission is past tense. Post operatively means now, but is present tense. Upon discharge is future tense. So simple as that. Okay, this one is past tense, should go before, and this one is present tense, should come after. Uh, right. Ramipril. Ramipril is brand name or. Uh, Rami Peril is brand name or generic name, Edison names. Ra, okay. Uh, let us go to Google the power. Rami Peril. Rami Peril, generic name or brand name. Rami Peril brand or generic. Ah. Uh, brand name. Uh, Rami Pril brand and generic name of so Altes is used to lower. Okay, we don't know that. What is the generic name of is Rami Pril the brand name? Rami Pril brand names include Lopez Rami Rami Pril is also a brand name. Okay, this is generic name, small letter means generic name, capital letter means brand name. Okay, fine. Check in the case notes what is given there. Ram April is capital letter aspirin. So doubtful. Okay, fine. So this is upon admission is past tense. You write this in past tense. And post operatively, you write in present tense. And this is upon discharge, they'll be for future. So future tense. Past tense, present tense, future tense. Okay. Uh, Panadin 4, to pick up six tablets for pain relief have been commenced. Remove he has and say have been. You have written correct on the present tense. Of, uh, okay. You written. Work commenced. Sorry, work commenced. Past tense, not have been commenced. Work commenced. Upon admission, no? were commenced. He is a known case of hypertension. He is a known case of hypertension. They also know it. No? And why should you write? It's a known case. Yeah. They also know, no, he has hypertension because he is being there for two years. They don't know. Then why are you writing that one? Known case of hypertension uh, has been hypertension, which has been managed by Ramit Pri. 5 mg. Okay, Rami Pril. 5 mg. 5. Upon discharge, you capital letter. Who will write capital letter here? Huh? Follow up on whatever I am telling. Follow those things. Okay. Follow those things. Right? Whatever I am telling you, implement these things first. There are a lot of side effects. You have to be careful. Uh, upon discharge, Mr. Benjamin, I told you, okay, I treat you as a child, means I treat you as a child. Okay, be an obedient child and learn all these things, sir. How many letters I have corrected? Still, you are doing these silly mistakes, means what upon? How can you write capital letter in the beginning of the sentence? Huh? How many letters might you have? You might have seen A. Wheelie Walker. With noun, you should write A. Huh? 
you are not uh, totally applying your conscious conscience your presence of mind you are not applying fully well huh? you know these things you don't know that's impossible i cannot say you don't know wedged pillow or wedged pillow who will write a here a wedged pillow why wedged pillow huh? and a toilet riser who will write a toilet riser riser is one this also i should tell you uh, for every noun you have to use a huh? medical supplier who will write a here a medical supplier what are you doing so simple four mistakes you write in one paragraph 10 marks you lost already here a willy walker a wedge pillow a toilet riser a local medical four mistakes lost 10 marks simply you lost how can you do mistake okay willy walker walker is a noun eh? pillow Pillow is a noun. Medical supplier. Supplier is a noun. Razor. Razor is a noun. That's it. In front of noun, you have to. One means a or an. More than one means leave it. Plural. S should come. If S is not there, so here really walkers. Plural is not there, so a should be written. Here pillows is not there, so a should be written. Here razor, not razors, so a should be written. Supplier, not suppliers, so a should be written. Mm, Neha. Yes, sir. Uh, Neha. Sir, I will rewrite this letter again, sir. That rewrite you write, rewrite means no need to say again. I rewrite means write again. So that definitely you are doing. Okay. But what I am asking, everyone is writing, not only you, every letter, everyone is writing. It's not that they are not writing, they are writing it correctly and improving and keeping them. That's what I tell them. If they don't write, that is their problem. But what I am telling you is, how can you do such mistakes? So simple. Huh? See that uh, Sangeeta means the, uh, Malaya, Gujarati medium, okay. You are English medium, no? Yes, sir. Uh, then you are English medium. You, you should not do these mistakes, no? Correct? I am telling you correctly or not. I am not angry with you or upset with you. But the things which you are doing, uh, they, you know, it deserves uh, something, taunt. Otherwise, I cannot leave you. One mistake means okay, I can excuse. One, two, three, four mistakes in one paragraph means same type of mistake. I should must, I must tell you. That's why I'm opened your mic and I'm talking to you. There is no excuse for this mistake. What you have done? And uh, do you know what is a capital letter or a small letter? Do you know C capital letter and small letter? This is a capital letter which you have written. <laughs> same height. See here. See. Now, you tell me, is it a capital letter or small letter? You can tell. C is a capital letter or small letter. You can tell, right? It is going above A, N. N. It is going, you see? It is going about O. Same height means small letter. Same height means, I'll show you the difference. Now, C, A, N. Now, see this one and see this one. You will understand the difference. Okay, can you understand the difference now? Yes, sir. Huh? Same height means small letter. Going up means capital letter. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So try to implement that one. There is no excuse. Uh, Ashwini. Unmute. Hello, Ashwini. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, good evening, Ashwini. Sorry, I have a special important work to you. Find out whoever is there in uh, uh, 16th or 17th or test date. Neha, Seven, which day? Uh, 17th, Seven, sir. Yeah, 17th. Ashwini, ask, find out everyone who is going for the exam on 17th. Note it down. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah, Akhil is going for 17th. Neha is going for 17th. These fellows know all of them put in one group and first give their letters for correction. Okay? Okay. Because I cannot follow these people. You know, when I call, they will be not... They will not be available and I am super busy. These people are even busier than me. You understand? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yes, sir. I know, I know. Follow them up blindly. Point blank, you follow them up. Tell them okay. if morning they don't give their letter, you're not correct. Tell them you have full rights. Okay, yeah. You are sure. junior Simon now, understood? 
yeah <laughs> if they are not giving the letters okay mm. okay let tell them tomorrow's letter give it now itself you tell them today night only you tell them okay okay yeah yes sir people who are going for the exam on 17 blast them no problem tell them openly simon sir okay. will shout at me i will ask you mm okay. now i did not have anybody so i left them okay fine what to do okay please follow them up and see that their letters are corrected first okay sure sure sir yes please sir please do that please do that uh, okay. wizard rakel is there then this neha banu is there and whoever mm-hmm. is there just to make a list ask everyone okay and make a list okay. of them make it sure that they will do it i okay, am okay. going for exam and i made a notice i sent a message in the group ex test dates okay. write your test dates if you don't did not book not booked yet okay mm. so i asked them to write nobody wrote correct or not did anybody write no sir <laughs> nobody is bothered yeah you and i are i am bothered okay from tomorrow onwards it is your responsibility okay okay yeah sure got it these people should these people this uh, 17th people should finish everything and submit if they do not submit then i will ask you Oh, if you okay. ask then still they don't submit then their mistake okay yeah okay yeah yes sir right then what you have to do is before going leaving na you tell sir they did not submit i asked send a proof to me then i will blast them okay okay yeah sure right okay okay, okay right fine. sir uh, because we cannot uh, take chances now you are there now behind the background to support me okay <laughs> next one yeah, I- Uh, local medical supply for two weeks. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you could monitor. I told you, don't avoid this outdated style. If you are new student, I can tell you again and again. It would be greatly appreciated if you could monitor. Use this outdated style. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry is writing this sort of sentence. It would be greatly appreciated if you could monitor his medication and exercise progress. So directly remove this it uh, and uh, you all these things remove. Okay, it would be appreciated. Why should we appreciate these people who are doing their duty? Huh? Why should we appreciate? If you could monitor, why could monitor? They must monitor. It is their duty. Okay, based on the aforementioned circumstances. Let me give it up here. Uh. based on the aforementioned circumstances based on the aforementioned circumstances based on the aforementioned circumstances comma ah uh, the just put this one and say um monitor monitor his what monitor his what medication okay based on the monitor medication only one word is important here it would be greatly appreciated if you could till there nothing is there it's an empty balloon hook one pin and it will blast nothing is there only air is there in that one okay based on the aforementioned circumstances regular monitoring which is important it is important you is important why directly start on regular monitoring this is important and regular monitoring of medication dietary medication dietary and exercise regimens exercise sorry exercise medication uh, okay medic uh, based on, i'll write a sentence here this will be for everyone it will be useful based on the aforementioned circumstances regular monitoring of medication compliance this is a standard sentence based on the aforementioned circumstances regular monitoring of medication compliance dietary regimens and exercise program 
Okay, based on the aforementioned circumstances, regular monitoring of medication compliance, dietary routine, and exercise program would be profoundly beneficial. What is important for the patient? It's important. Profoundly beneficial. This sentence, why they are separating from this one? After that, continue this one. Okay, based on the aforementioned circumstances, you write that one. And next one is in case any additional information information is required please do not hesitate to contact me first in your student already studied student if you are doing this many mistakes means what is this uh, i have corrected so many letters still you make mis mistakes hesitate to contact me based on the aforementioned circumstances regular monitoring of medication compliance Based on the aforementioned circumstances, regular monitoring of medication compliance, diet regimen, and exercise program would be profoundly beneficial. In case any additional information is required, please do not hesitate to contact me. That's it. Huh? What is this U.S. apostrophe? How many letters you have written? In your previous letters, you have you written like this? That means I am crazy. I did not correct your letter. You are faithfully. Uh, you are going in for 15 days for exam and still you are writing this one. Uh, earlier letters was the. Oh, I will ask you, wait one minute. Where is this girl? Neha Banu, na? Okay. Neha Banu, I forgot. Okay, who's yes, letter? I'm correct. Neha Banu, in your previous letters, did you put this apostrophe? In the last letter, you have told me, sir, to not okay. to put the this. Previous apostrophe. letters, in the previous letters, in all the letters, you might have written at least 20, 30 letters, na? Yes, Everywhere sir. did you put this apostrophe or you did not put? Okay, you don't remember. Leave it. Next, check afterwards and don't do it. This is why are you? Is this why are you? Why, is sir? Why? Huh? This is short. How can this be short? <laughs> huh? Why? That is why. This is small y. Okay. Capital letter will be above the line and small letter will go below the line. Okay. So like that. Okay, like that. So this is the height it should go. And where is your this dot? Why it is not very clear? Yours faithfully, comma. Write a comma here. Yours faithfully, charge nurse. How many times I told? Did you listen? Actually, did you any time listen that after? Tell me frankly one statement, Neha. Okay. Did I any time tell you or anybody in the lecture that you have to leave two lines after yours faithfully or sincerely? Did I tell or not? Do you remember that I told? Yes. You? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to. This one. I feel sad, you know why? Because I tell you, you are taking from one year and leaving from another year. You are just hearing me, you are not listening to me. And don't think so you are not fooling with me, you are fooling with yourself. You are disturbing yourself, you are troubling yourself. How do you remember? See, for example, my son used to tell me, Daddy, you have short term memory. Okay, I am a brother, big brother, short term memory. Are you also, do you also have that short term memory? Tell me. Huh? No, no? No. Then why are you doing like this? Okay, before I was busy, okay. If your letter is not checked, you were calling me and I was calling you. We were not available. We are, now there is one person, okay, Ashwini. Just pass on the information to her and she will schedule the session, okay? Care well hospital. I told you the 101 times every letter I tell, leave two lines after your faithfully. Leave your two lines after your faithfully. Huh? So kept this punctuation, this apostrophe is not needed. Yes, sir. Apostrophe. Okay. Comma. One L is keep big, one L is small. What is the why this injustice? Huh? One short and egg tingu egg lambua. 
There is Amitabh Bachchan's movie, Lambuji, Tinguji. Is that like this? No, no, Govinda and Amitabh Bachchan. No, so you are straight fully, double L. Both the L should be same height, na? So be yes, careful sir. with these small, small things. Care, well, hospital. That's fine. So let us see here. Uh, Mr. Benjamin is a 63-year-old patient in Carewell Hospital where you are acting as a charge nurse. Charge nurse. Carewell Hospital. Charge nurse, Carewell Hospital. That's all. And this is what, uh, actually, this is uh, an operation, surgery, right? Yes, sir. So post-operative ward, no, then? Hospital yes. ward, post-operative ward, right? Yes, sir. So you could have written that one also there in between. Think, think, think. Just writing is no use. So this is post. Okay. One. Develop the story. Develop the structure. Uh, Shini. Maraneng Makoko. Okay. Maraneng Makoko after the break. I'll go have a cup of tea. Okay. I'll go have, have. Maraneng Makoko. Hello. Sir. Maraneng Makoko. Sir. One minute, Neha. One minute. Just one minute. Yeah. Okay. I will have after the break. Yeah. Tell me, Neha. You have any question? Uh, no, sir. Actually, I will. Sorry, sir. I'm just making a lot of mistakes these days. It's okay. No problem. Do mistakes. I'm there to correct you. But at least you have to apply. You have a lot of wisdom. I never expect. See, before also I corrected your letters and you are doing very well. Yes, sir. Maybe because of panic or because of wavering or because of your listening to somebody. And one more thing I'm telling you. If you have pain in your stomach, you'll go to your mother, okay? Yes, sir. If you have trouble with your English, go to Simon, sir. You got my point? Yes, sir. I got that. Simon, sir, is your mother now. Try to understand that one first. Yes, yes, sir. Directly to me. Okay? Yes, sir. Because I will not come to you every time. I think, oh, my child is happy. So no need to let her. When she's in problem, she'll come to me, I think. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Correct. How do I know that you have problem? You come to me. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, exactly. If you go to YouTube, if you go to some other friend, if you go to some other ex, or if you go and talk to somebody, it will not help you. Okay? Just directly message me, I'll be following you. Just send a message and keeping quiet means I will not go and call you, call you, call you. I don't know who is doing what, right? Just yes, touch sir. Bring a bell and I will be there. Okay, fine. No, what I'm telling you is be careful. Okay, after right, at least after writing, in the speed you will do mistakes, okay. But before submitting, take time and correct your own mistakes, na? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll do this one, sir. That's it. See, Simon sir is telling about punctuation. Simon sir is telling about capital letters. Simon sir is telling about letters, format, style, okay? See here, contact. What is this? C-O-N-T-A-C. What is this in between? What is that line in between? I don't understand. Tell me. That line in between. You want to see? I'm showing you. Wait. What is this? C-O-N-T-A-C. Okay. What is this line? Before T. After C and before T. What is that line? Tell me. And is this C looking? Is this C looking like C? It is looking like T for me. Hmm? Is this E looking like E? It is looking like I without a dot. Be very careful. This is E. I can understand. This is perfect E. But what about this E? And what about this T? Is, where is the line on the top here? Where is the line? Who will put? Your uncle or my uncle? Here T is there. This line I can see here very clearly. Here T. Here one time it will go to bottom. Here another See the line height here, line went down. Here, line went a little up. Here, no line at all. Line cannot be seen. I think you might have written, but line cannot be seen. Where is the line? That's what I am telling you. Here, it went a very tall. High. 
So very clearly, present very clearly. So this is T or F. This is T or F. If this and this look same for me. No difference. Okay. And I'll show you. Here, you wrote F. See here, where some F somewhere else you wrote. Very nicely. Uh, this F. See this F. And uh, further, see this F. There is no relation. This F and this F, there is no relation. So that's what I'm telling you. Make a standard font. See here, this F. This F is something different now. Yes, huh? sir. Yes. So make a standard letter style font. That's all. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, Maranang Makako, I'm going for break, tea break. After 15 minutes, I'll come. Please, next is yours only. Who is that junior, Simon? <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, Neha? Yes, sir. Remember only one thing. I only love my students, okay? I tell you whatever I tell you, that is my suggestions only. Because you yes. people will be staying for one minute, month, two months, three months, and then you will go off. Okay? So I don't yes. have any things with you people. Right? The results yes. are my results. So I don't play the fool with students. So follow up with Ashwini from tomorrow. Right? Okay, then I'm going for a break. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.